Welcome to Colchester Zoo, Running Wild. I'm your host Melanie and my two co-hosts are Elena and Christiane. Today we'll be going on an adventure around South America, seeing many different animals, specifically ones that live in the sky and sea. Hope you enjoy. These are Patagonian sea lions. Typical males are approximately 9 feet long and weigh close to 800 pounds. They live in South America and are approximately 7,000 miles away from their home. These sea lions are living in this massive 500,000 gallon enclosure. However, this is still significantly smaller than their home. These very sea lions are a descendant of a land-based carnivore that lived 27 to 25 million years ago, which shows how they have evolved to suit their needs. Sea lions typically live in groups. When the sea lions are on land, they're called a colony. When they're in the water, they're called a raft. However, during the mating season, they're called a rookery. Sea lions cannot actually smell underwater. However, they have whiskers. These whiskers are super sensitive and allow them to detect fish, even in the worst of waters. Unfortunately, sea lions are known to eat penguins, but I'm sure these will be okay. The penguins have pink patches. These pink patches aren't from the feathers, but are from bold patches that can be found around their eyes and under their wings. These pink patches help them survive in warm climates by regulating their body temperature and let the excess heat escape. These penguins are monogamous, which means they're little like humans when they find a partner. They stick with that partner and breed for life. Unless you're King Henry VIII, since he had many wives. When there's a scarcity of food, the parents save and feed the only energetic chick. The penguins are capable of living for 15 years in the wild. However, it's double in captivity. When penguins hunt, they can stay underwater for 60 to 150 seconds and hardly go deeper than 88 feet. Even though penguins are in the bird family, considering they have feathers and wings, they unfortunately cannot fly. These huge flying birds are known as the king vultures. They are the same group as the condors. They can be found in both Central and South America, but the highest population can be found in Argentina. A fun fact about the vulture's name is that in Mayan legends, the king vulture was believed to be a type of messenger from the humans to the gods and it started being personified as a king. The king vulture has one of the strongest beaks in all of America. The king vulture, although getting first picked on a carcass, it is still a scavenger feeding on a carrion, which could potentially spread diseases, but they do have the means to exploit various different types of foods that other animals cannot. The next fine animal we'll be talking about is a phantom of the north, the great grey owl. Just like the vulture, it can be found in two continents, both in North America and also Asia. They tend to eat small rodents. The owl has the ability to hear rodents 60 centimetres under the snow and 30 metres away from their hearing above excellence. And on top of that, they are quieter than foxes giving it the phantom nickname. The great grey owl is not that heavy, despite it looks the average male weight of a great grey. A study was shown that they only flap their wings 1% of the time while flying. They make use of air currents to stay airborne for hours at a time. The flight recorders found one bird flew five hours without flapping their wings, covering around 107 miles. The condor has a wingspan of over three meters and is considered the largest flying bird in the world. The condor can change the color of its skin on their neck and head, indicating a change in mood. They can also use this to communicate each other. This takes the feeling of blue to a whole new level. The Andean condor lives in the same area as the Humboldt penguin and the Pentagon sea lion. They live in the west coast of South America, with one of those countries being Chile. Chile adore this bird so much that they've made it their national bird. The condor lives mainly in open grasslands and in alpine areas. 
This is because they like to live in open, non-forested areas that allows them to spot the carrion from the air. The condor are most active during the day, spending most of the time soaring. Condors can live a very long life, around 50 years in the wild, and even longer in captivity. The longest one to live is 80 years. The condor feed on the largest carcasses and are very good at cleaning up carcasses. Unfortunately, the condors are listed as near threatened. This can be because of the habitat loss. The next water animal that we will be talking about is the mischievous smooth-coated otter. The smooth-coated otter can be found primarily in the southeast of Asia, being primarily found in Singapore, India and China. When the otter decided to swim slowly after a long day of riding and laying, they would normally do a jogging habit using all four of their paws. But when they are rushing aggressively to get home to eat mum's cactus nuggets, they tuck their front paws and use their back web feet. The smooth coated otter are closely related to ferrets, badgers, and minks. But unlike misconceptions, they are not related to beavers. When a flamingo isn't sleeping, eating or mating, it spends time preening its feathers. This is essential to keep their feathers clean and waterproof. Interestingly, when they sleep, they face the wind to keep the rain and moisture from getting into their coat. Flamingos' beaks are designed in a specific way so that they can filter food in the water. They do this by holding it upside down and filtering it. Flamingos eat algae and aquatic invertebrates and because of what they eat, this is actually the reason on why they are pink. Breeding flamingos is a very complicated process because they breed in big groups. However, Culture Sassu came up with a very smart idea. They strategically placed mirrors to trick the flamingos into the impression that they are in a bigger group than they actually are. 